Now, I see a big tub over here. Do you always use this big tub? That's for uh, carpets, uh, rocks, pee bather from pee, pee pee, urine, uh, and and uh, from Morocco. So see the, this kind of carpets uh, there. <laughs> Okay, so Berber and uh, Tibet, like uh, we oh, call them. Oh, Tibetan, the Met Nepalese, like this one right here. Yeah, like that like one right there. One. Okay, well, why do you wash those ones in here? Are yeah. these new rugs or old rugs? No, uh, dirty rugs. We put it down here. Yes. With uh, soap, and then the thing move and move all the rugs. The rugs are all moving. How many yeah. rugs do you put in? Oh, there it goes, right there. Big, big like this about seven or nine no more and then you, you change the water like five yeah. six times okay and and then you, you, you took them out okay now i got a question for you do the colors ever bleed in here or do you just avoid putting bleeders in with this kind of carpets no nepalese is okay tibetan tibetan's okay would you put a persian rug in there the owner of this fabric in germany does it but i wouldn't do this risk it's risky. It's risky. It's risky. I see. Okay. It's uh, always important to uh, okay, have the temperature. Have there's, the water. A, there's a company in, in the USA that's 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 copied this this style, mm -hmm. and they're saying to put any type of rug in there. Yeah. Do you think they should? No, I wouldn't do it. They say, well, they better the manufacturer better guarantee mm -hmm. that the that the covers don't run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because okay, and I see it's all stainless steel. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful machine that you have there. Yes. Very nice. And, uh,